What is up guys, this is Vincer and today I will help you how to easily get the three legendary Pokemons, the Loyal 3 in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, the Teal Mask DLC. Before anything else, if you are new to the channel, please do subscribe as it will help the channel grow. Currently I'm trying to hit 1k subscribers mark, so I'll definitely appreciate your big help. Anyway, back to the video. First and foremost, the Pokemon that is highly recommended to use for all these three is none other than King Gambit. Because of its typing, it will be immune to most of the moves of the three legendaries. I highly recommend to have it leveled up to 100 and it should know the moves Fall Swipe and Thunder Wave. These moves can be learned through technical machines. If you are unable to make King Gambit learn Thunder Wave, it's okay to use an additional electric Pokemon, like Sandy Shocks in my case. And these are the other alternative Pokemons you can use. One last thing guys, Timer Ball is the Pokeball I highly suggest to use for these legendaries. They are quite hard to catch to be honest. With the Timer Balls, I was able to catch each of them under 4-5 to five minutes. Anyway, let's start with Monkey Dory. Monkey Dory can be located here in the lower left corner of the Kitakami map. Once you get there, you should see him right away. So here, as you can see, I made Sandy Shocks the first Pokemon to come out for me to paralyze Monkey Dory using Thunder Wave. After that, I just tried to do little damage to him until Sandy Shocks fainted. And that is when I took out King Gambit to counter the psychic moves and to use the Fall Swipe in order for us to decrease its HP until it becomes 1. Once you have successfully paralyzed it and reduced its HP to 1, you can go ahead and start throwing timer balls until you catch it. Now in order to get Okidogi, you just need to go in the upper left corner of the Kitakami map, in this exact location around Paradise Barrens. The strategy for Okidogi is almost the same with Monkey Dory. Take out a Pokemon that will paralyze it, then take out King Gambit to reduce its HP to 1. Just a reminder guys that Okidogi has the move Super Power. There's a chance he might use that against you, so King Gambit will get fainted most likely. So always save your game before trying to catch Okidogi. And again, once you have successfully paralyzed and reduced its HP to 1, you can go ahead and start throwing timer balls until you catch it. Now the last one is Fezendibity. You can find him in the middle right of the map, just left of Fallen Horn. Just fly to Fallen Horn and go to this exact location. Upon approaching, you'll just do the same strategy. Paralyze it and reduce its HP to 1, then keep on throwing timer balls until it locks in. So that's it guys, that is how you easily get the 3 legendary Pokemons in Kitakami. I hope this video has helped you a lot, if you have enjoyed it, Please do leave a like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more awesome videos like this. Vince here, see you next time. Take care.